Hey everyone, welcome back. And we're going to learn lesson 10, not for jazz. Well, if we talk about jazz, we're talking about different kinds of music. Do you like music? And what kind of music do you like best? So, at the very beginning, let's talk about some music. Because lesson 10 is called Not For Jazz. Jazz is kind of music, but many, many people are not very familiar with jazz. Because we often listen to some pop music like Frozen. Um, just um, several days ago, there was a film which was very popular called Frozen, right? Let it go. Let it go, let it go, can't hold it back anymore. This is let it go. And we also have the, the pop king, king of the pop. Do you know Michael Jackson, MJ? MJ is called the king of pop because we say he is the king of pop music. I, I, I think everybody can sing the song like beat it. Just beat it, just beat it, just beat it, beat it, beat it. They all pop music. Um, well, some young people like to listen to rock music. Uh, last year, there was a show called The Voice of China, right? And there was very famous on it. I want to rock. I want to rock. So rock music. There are many different kinds of music. And what is your favorite? Yes? Rock music or pop music? Well, I think most people are familiar with pop music because Pop music is very easy to learn and to sing. That's why we can sing pop music. Okay, so lesson 10, not for jazz. It's not going to tell us different kinds of music, but it will tell us story. 我们今天的第十课叫做真心不适合弹爵士乐。但这里面讲的并非是世界各国不同的音乐种类。那今天讲的小故事是什么呢？OK，我们还进入了第一个部分，干嘛？哎，看动画。听故事, okay, now, ready? Let's see the story, not for jazz. Bang, 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 bang. We have an old musical instrument. Wow, it looks like piano, right? But it's called a clavichord. Wow, clavichord. It was made in Germany. Oh, made in Germany. It was made in Germany in 16... 81. Our clavichord is kept in a living room. Wow, so huge. Our clavichord is kept in the living room. It has belonged to our family for a long time. The instrument was bought by my grandfather many years ago. Wow, many years ago. Recently. It was damaged by a visitor. Wow. What happened? She tried to play jazz on it. She struck the keys too hard. And two of the strings boom, were broken. My father was shocked. Now, we're not allowed to touch it. It is being repaired by a friend of my father's. Okay, here we go. This is a story. The story is not going to tell about different kinds of music, but tell a story. The story is about a kind of piano, but we, call, we, we can't call it a piano. We call it clavichord. So clavichord is old-fashioned piano. So, it has been our family for many, many years. But recently, it was damaged by a visitor. That's why the father was really shocked and angry. So, now we are not allowed to touch it. We 我们平时接触的piano比较多一些，但其实我们本文当中讲的这个clavichord叫做古钢琴，它就是一种钢琴的一种变种。就在很早以前的时候，像呃，we can often see it in the church，我们会经常在教堂里这样这种古钢琴，但现如今它演变成我们现代的这种piano，但其实它们长得差不多，并且声音会有略微不同。大家应该听过那种church里面那种教堂的声音，就那种有那种很。
深邃、很久远的声音，那就是古钢琴弹出来，就能啊，哈利路亚，哎，就有后这种感觉在里面。而可我们的 piano 呢，它的声音就比较稍微现代化一些。那我们这故事讲的是非常简单的故事，就是一架钢琴。被一造访者给弄坏了，但是这篇文章是星二当中非常非常非常非常重要的文章之一，因为这篇文章里面几乎全文都在讲述一个非常重要的语法时代。那我们今天讲这个语法点，就是围绕这篇文章而进行的，因此我们要求这篇文章要逐句逐句的把它非常非常正确，并且要非常非常熟练的把它给我说出来。当然不要求你把全篇文章一字不差背下来，但是那些带了这些小语法点知识的句子，你必须要会使用，因为今天的文章难度比较大。好，我们来看一下这小故事。好，所以我们第二部分听谱帅评课文。那今天是评课文没法评，因为这是一个非常简单的 story。这个故事没有什么所谓的写作手法，因为它的目的不再是讲故事，而在透过故事让你来学一个新的语法点。这个语法点知识在我们语文当中也是经常见到的。好，我们来看一下，好吧？那这篇章到底想跟我们说什么呢？所以我们来看一下，第一个就是他先交代了说，我们家有一个非常古老的乐器，哎，先用这个呢来引人入胜。搭着写的时候也也会这样。你比如说，你想写你家的一个啊、呃、家传之宝，你不可能上来说我们家有一个特别特别棒的家传之宝大花瓶你肯定会先说我们家有一个非常非常的一个家传之宝 ，valuable precious， 我们刚学过的。所以会吸引读者，什么呀？是什么是什么呀？是什么呀？就是我爷爷以前用的一个刷桶的马桶刷，啪！哎，你这样让别人大跌眼镜，哎呀，眼镜掉下来了。所以 ，anyway， 不管怎么样，你写的文章能够吸引别人读下第二句，那不错。所以你看这个第一句还是 We have an old musical instrument。所以我们第一个就学会了这个乐器，这个怎么说？叫做 musical instrument。人家说的不是 musical instrument， 加了一个什么 old。哎，所以读者就会说啊 ，old old music instrument 有多古老呢 ？Let me see， 我要看看我是否听说过。果然没听说过 clavichord。你要说 violin， 你要说 piano， 你要说二胡，这都没问题。结果来了个 clavichord， 哇、wow, ，it's my first time to hear that， 第一次听说哎。所以第一句话作者就成功了，把你钓上来了，你就是那条鱼上钩了。好，一起来重复一下，我们家有一个非常古老的乐器，怎么说 ？We have 就可以了。我们家都不用说 our home has， 直接说 we have 就可以了。OK， let's try it again， 再来一遍。We have an old musical instrument， 是什么呢？人家用了一个第一个，就是我们今天学的语法点知识。它怎么说来着？叫做 it's called。哎，这个大家经常会在文章中见着，而且我觉得所有学生都会翻译 it's called， 就翻译成它叫做，是不是？但是你在翻译这句话的时候，就忽略了它的语法点知识。它叫做不应该说 it costs 吗？用三单吗？干嘛非要说 it is called 呢？干嘛加一个 is？ 又干嘛加了个 called 呢？这就是我们今天要讲的，因为它不是自己叫的，这个名字是我们人给起的，所以它被称之为。那我说了一个什么呀？被称之为，没错。今天我们讲的统通就是围绕这个字儿，什么被子啊？不是盖的被子啊，被字儿啊，写一下啊。要说到背，我觉得所有的电脑前的同学们都应该知道我要讲什么了。哎呀，你看四个字啊，被动语态，没错。大家不要对被动语态特别的害怕，因为我在上面授的时候，很多学生一提到说，呃，真的被动语态，我最不会这个了。讲完了，你一定不会了。不要给自己做心理暗示，先别说自己不会，好吧？被动语态，英文当中被动语态就跟我们中文的背字句是如出一辙的，特别简单。你只要了解了。你只要会说中国话，这个英文就会说。来，它叫做古钢琴，怎么说呀？我们用的背景态 ，it's called。好，再来一遍啊 ，it is called。缩读就是 it's called。那么分开读就是 it is called。那么它叫做古钢琴，怎么说 ？it is called a clavichord。好，我们再来一遍啊 ，one two three go。What's name？ It is called a clavichord。OK。啊，那我们把第一句话再来给大家展示一遍，好吧？我们家有一个非常古老的乐器，它就叫做古钢琴。怎么 ？We have an old musical instrument. It is called a clavichord. 好，这个记住了，一架古古老的乐器叫做 an old， 因为 old 是一个元音发音的音素，所以是 an old
。好了，那么通过这儿之后呢，我说了，读者已经被深深的、深深的吸引住了。那么往下看这股钢琴怎么回事呢？随着介绍这个钢琴来历了。首先 ，It was not made in China， 不是中国制造，不是现代，人家是哪里制造的？还记得吗？哎 ，Germany， 德国。哎，所以有没有学了一个小知识点？我们天天天天都在说哪儿哪儿哪儿哪儿制造。你都不知道吗？你说的这些都是英文当中最重要的一个最难的语法点，这是什么？被动语态啊，难吗？你不会说中国制造吗？怎么说 ？Made in China， 说的比谁都溜。有个笑话不说的吗 ？Made in China 叫做山寨的意思，对吧？你们中国人最爱最喜欢复制别人的东西。那来，德国制造怎么说？就是 Made in Germany。日本制造，哎 ，Made in Japan。法国制造 ，Made in France。France 就可以了，好吧？好，所以。它是德国制造，怎么说 ？It 还是 It was 呀？那你想嘛，这钢琴那不可能是现在造出来，一定是很早之前造出来的呀。那么所以统统都用过去时，因此 It is 的 is 要换成 was， 因此这个话说它是德国制造的，怎么说 ？It was made in Germany。我们在通常口语当中会直接说 made in 什么什么，那是因为这样说简单。比如说中国制造，我们直接说 made in China。但其实大家知道，这里 made 前面应该有个什么呀？ be 动词啊，是不是？好，那么所以它是德国制造的，在一六八一年制造的。那你看，都是过去了，所以连起来怎么说？它是一六八一年德国制造的。怎么说？ One, two, three, go. It is or it was? Yes, it was. 你太棒了。来， one, two, three, go. It was made in Germany in 1681. 有人数字找我都不熟练啊，我一说一六八一都不会说，来写一遍。一六八一年怎么说？我们在看到这种四位数字年份的时候，一般都是两两拆开来说，就是十六和八十一，所以我们就说是 sixteen eighty one。OK， 再来一遍啊 ，sixteen eighty one。好，连起来说，这家钢琴呢，它是一六八一年德国制造，怎么说 ？One two three go。It was made in Germany in sixteen eighty one。哇哦！那确实是一个非常 old musical instrument 啊，所以人家说的非常在理儿。我们家有有一个非常古老的乐器，它叫做古钢琴，是德国制造， 1 6 8 1年生产的。那我们再往下走了。